Uh, good day, everyone. So my name is Li Zixuan. So uh, this video will talk about the STPA Biology Semester 1 Chapter 2 Organelles topic under uh, organelles that we will talk is Golgi apparatus. So we will learn about the structure of Golgi apparatus and its function. Lah. Okay, so this is the structure of the Golgi apparatus as you see in the diagram. So this is the... Uh, you can see that the structure of the Golgi apparatus is the flat... Uh, sorry, uh, flat and membrane set structure which is called as cisterna. So it is, you can say that it is similar to ER, ER but the difference is it is flat structure compared to a stack of flat structure. Compared to ER, ER only the RER is flat structure only. Uh, but the SER is not the flat structure, right? SER is an interconnected tubule structure. But Golgi apparatus, all of them are, is, is the flat structure and is the membrane bound set structure also to form the cisterna like this. Okay, and then the cisterna are not interconnected to each other. So you can see, meaning that, meaning that, uh, each of the cisterna, you can see each of the cisterna, there are no, uh, no, uh, line or there are no connection to each other one. There are all of them are unique and are aligned in parallel way, parallel way to each other. And each are each of the cisterna is also covered with a lipoprotein membrane. And cisterna, there are two shapes of the cisterna. Either it is concave shape or convex shape. A uh, concave shape is at the is we known as the transept trans face at here if you will see here this one is the is the shape that face to the cytoplasm ah uh, cytoplasm and at the another space uh, uh position which is called as cis face which had the convex shape uh, so when the if the cis face they have the convex uh convex shape Meaning that this is the region that it receives the transport vesicle. Uh, you will still remember that in the IR, once they already form the protein, they form the secretory protein, they will butt off to form the transport vesicle, and then this transport vesicle will go to ER, right? And they will go to the cis phase of the ER. Uh, no, cis phase of the Golgi apparatus, rather than trans phase. Trans phase is the place. Where the of uh, where the protein uh, will be part off from the Golgi apparatus after the modification process. Uh. So you need to know it. Golgi apparatus containing two phase. One is cis phase, which is the convex shape, and another one trans phase, which is the concave shape. Ah, uh, totally two different things. Different things. Okay, so this is the process of the how when the transport vesicle is coming from the ER to Golgi apparatus, they will go to trans cis phase ah, at here. They will go when once they already reach the cis phase, they will uh diffuse into the it fuse with the Golgi apparatus, Golgi apparatus to form new cis Golgi cisterna. So meaning that the uh, protein molecule is already inside already diffused into the Golgi apparatus and then they will undergo maturation process, maturation process within the Golgi apparatus, Golgi apparatus. And vesicle will form and leave the Golgi apparatus carrying specific product to other location or the plasma membrane for secretion. Secretion. Uh, and then the vesicle transports some protein backward to less major Golgi apparatus where they function. Where they function. And another thing is vesicle also transports certain protein back to the ER, their site to function. So there are three pathways. Lah. Once they already enter into the cis phase, they have three pathways. Either they go to the lift directly lift Golgi apparatus to other part, or they or, or they or they transport to the another Golgi apparatus. Uh, the vesicle will transport some protein back were to less major Golgi apparatus. Uh, some of them. Some, this one, number four, is they already go to another location. The protein that we need by other type of protein, uh, other type of cell or 
uh, even though at the at the trust are low for location. Uh, and number five is that they will go to another Gogi apparatus. Uh, maybe the another region is maybe is in major they go to there. And another one is another one is they will back to the uh, West, uh, ER again. Uh, maybe ER requires certain protein that uh, requires certain protein so that this protein will back to the ER to have uh, another function. Uh. Okay, so this is a three pathway. Once the Google operator is major under uh major the protein as well. And then the Google operator function. So these are the function of the Google operators. So the first function is to this phase will receive the executory protein uh, from the ER that carry protein uh, as I mentioned. So that once they already carry protein, once they already this transport vesicle is fused with the system of the Google apparatus, they will modify and store the protein within this system and transit transport this protein into the uh into the from the sixth phase to the trans phase of the Google apparatus. And once they already transport to the trans phase of the Google apparatus, they will produce the secretory vesicle. So this secretory vesicle is containing the more already modified protein or major protein already. So normally this protein is already can be carried out for the functioning lah. Uh, the ER, the secret uh secretory vesicle that form from the form from the ER, ER is still in major. The protein cannot carry the function again uh, yet. But when the protein is go to Google operator, Google operator will modify it, measure it, so that this protein now can be functional. So normally it can be function in hormone, function in immune system, antibody, or enzyme as well. Uh, so this protein later, this protein later either it will be list out uh, in terms of the secretory vesicle. Uh, secretory vesicle. So when the it re receive the Go to out from the secretory vesicle. It either go toward the plasma membrane and release release the protein by exocytosis, or they go to the immature Golgi system for for another function, or they go back to the ER again for the certain function. And also, Golgi operators play the role in formation of lysosome. Lysosome. And then there are also another function, uh, function of secretory vesicle with plasma membrane to add the surface area of membrane. Yeah, one of the function is that Fugue apparatus can also form plasma membrane, increase the increase the surface area of the plasma membrane. Uh, membrane. And then another one is implant cell. It will also polysaccharide is secreted for formation of cell plate and cell wall. Cell wall. And the last function is to form perosiosome, perosiosome, ah, uh, perosiosome. This is another type of the location, another part of the cells that located in the cell. But this one is not in the syllabus, lah. But it is one type of function, lah. Perosiosome is formed from the Golgi apparatus. Okay, so that's all for the Golgi apparatus. So hopefully you guys can. Understand about the each structure and also its function. So thank you for watching. Bye.